Wild, pure, and fast, the mighty Spey is sweeping us through the dramatic landscapes of the Highlands towards the most ancient forest in Scotland. The river is carrying us east to the clear open waters and beauty of Loch Inch. Then it's through the mountains and into the ancient world of the great Rothy Mercus forest. But first, we've got to cross this, the Loch Inch marshes. These vast wetlands, visited by thousands of migrating birds each year, are one of the most important nesting sites in Europe. But now the birds of summer have gone, and with the winter flocks yet to arrive, a calm has descended on the river. The area generally is called Bedenoch, and Bedenoch means the flooded lands or the drowned lands. Its powerful current dissipated by six square miles of wetlands, the spay hardly appears to be moving here. It's very flat water, so you're not here to get the white water buzz. You're here just because it's very tranquil and you've got these trees overhanging the river and it's almost like there are cushions of alders kissing the uh, surface of the river. Very serene, this part of the river. It has a lot of history and culture to it, and this is the main artery that carries the lifeblood of the whisky industry. I mean, there are 50 working distilleries on this bay. It's just such a, a wonderful resource. As the light begins to fade, the spay brings us into this the beautiful Loch Inch. Three miles long, two miles wide, and 50 feet deep, it's the biggest lock on the river. And we timed our arrival perfectly. We're coming to the end of our day, and I just think we could go ashore here and um, share a little dram, a little bit of Speyside's famous whiskey. Arriving in a moonlit night like tonight, it's just fantastic. Where else would you rather be on a, on a windswept autumn evening than coming off the River Spey? Slangeva. Nothing like it. <laughs> At first light, Loch Inch looks like it's from another world. The air temperature is a chilly three degrees Celsius, but the spay is a little warmer, and this creates a magical mist now rolling off its waters. This is the only place on the river where sailing and motorboats are allowed. But long before the sailors surface, the wild swimmers arrive. <laughs> it is hard getting into that cold water in the morning. Having to put yourself through that really, really sets you up for the day. <laughs> what else would we be rather doing than just being out here in this absolutely it's glorious, stunning lock? <laughs> Plunging into a cold lock can be risky, but Alice Goodridge is a hardy soul. Before she set up the wild swimming group here four years ago, she swam the English Channel. Swimming in the bay is just amazing. And we do it all year, <laughs> even when it's icy. I've got a sledgehammer in my car. <laughs> and I just break the ice and go in. Keen to show she's also made of stern stuff, Fiona is the group's newest recruit. One thing I've noticed is that my skin is beautifully soft now. After 20 minutes in the freezing water, there's a big incentive to get out. I want my bacon butty. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. Wonderful. 